Welcome to Trinidad and Tobago and the biggest party in the universe. Tonight, one of 84 delegates will walk away with my crown. Live from Trinidad and Tobago, the 48th annual Miss Universe pageant. Philippines, Miriam Gimbao. position and halfway through the Philippines. Philippines' Miriam Tian Bao is a licensed physical therapist who plans to seek a PhD and dreams of launching her own clinic. So Philippines got a lesson on South America from a delegate from Guatemala. Hello. Hello, Jack. So now I understand that you love to sing and dance in the Philippines. Did you learn any Guatemalan songs? I did not learn any Guatemalan songs because most Guatemalan, uh, Guatemalan music are mostly instrumental. I learned about their uh, instrument though, which is called marimba. It's like a xylophone and um, it also, they also named marimba as a dance in, uh, in oh. Guatemala. So it's also an instrument and a dance. And a dance. I see. Now you said that women are very modest in the Philippines. How would they compare to the women in Guatemala, are they also very modest? Well, basically we have the same uh, culture as in Guatemala because we both have been colonized by the Spaniards and uh, basically we are both conservative when it comes to, uh, to how women carry themselves. Right, I see. I know something about you, that you like to watch TV, don't you? Yes. Okay, now what, what do you think you'd see in Guatemala if you were watching TV? Oh, if I would be watching TV, maybe, perhaps they would have a Discovery Channel there. And if, if Discovery Channel would feature Guatemala, I would like to learn more about Guatemala. I love that channel, and the lions, I love all <laughs> yeah. that. Okay. Philippines, thank, thank you. you. I tell you what, these girls right I'm here, they're, they're hot to trot. They are hot as <laughs> <laughs> They're on fire! <laughs> Miriam Bo of the Philippines is 23 and a licensed physical therapist who creates special exercises for her patients. She wants to go for a doctorate in physical therapy in order to own and operate her own clinic. Her only regret is that her work schedule cuts into her exercise routine. The rhythm of the island beats burst from every corner in Trinidad. The whole world knows Trinidad as the birthplace of carnival. And in mob camps, people work year-round to produce these drop-dead gorgeous costumes for the annual two-day masquerade. Hey, let's play mob. And if we're dressed to kill, then the Queen's Park Savannah is dressed to thrill with stately historic mansions that line the park like royalty themselves. Oh, and don't get me started on food. Crack a coconut, bite into a roti, savor a double, or shuck an oyster. The whole place is a calypso for the taste buds. Philippines! <laughs> Oh, wow. here we go. Oh, my I knew it goodness. Was close. You know what? This competition is so hot right now. There they are, the hottest 10 women in the universe. Yeah. Julie and Allie, it's a little warm down here. How are you doing up there? Jack, it oh is blazing God. down there. How her hair. Philippines.
had a good night at the Miss Philippines trip in the preliminary That's show. True. She tripped in the preliminary she show. She got a and standing she got ovation. Yeah, it's so great to see her in there. So you know what? Who knows? Maybe next year girls will be tripping. She get in, in the, the top five. There you go. <laughs> Combination of high heels, flowing dresses, and steep staircases can be disastrous. One of your proudest achievements was standing up to one of your professors back in college. Now, what have you stood up for recently? Oh, when I fell on the stage last Friday. <laughs> I believe that I have stood up for the rest of the women who have fallen whether on or off stage, I believe that <laughs> through this example of mine, I have shown courage and strength of being a woman, of being who I am. And I hope to be a good example to the rest of the women in the world. Thank you. Thank you. Philippines. She has a lot of class, a lot of poise, I think. Loves her, but Julie, I have to say, she is working that falling on the stage for dress rehearsal. <laughs> I'm telling you, next year, everybody's going to be falling. I think it was what? traumatic for her, and she got a real boost from the crowd. She got it again tonight, so obviously, right. it's working for her. I love her, though. I love Style me. Award. Now, this goes to the delegate with the best overall presentation of personal style with an emphasis on healthy hair. And the winner of the Clairol Herbal Essence Style Award is Philippine. Final three, and if you've been following, you should have a pretty good idea. And here are my choices. Oh, I wonder, what'd you say? Spain, Venezuela, and Philippines. All right, here are my choices. Ah, ah, we've got, we picked the same three. All right, great, we're good. Great for that, think alike. <laughs> Philippines. were to become pregnant during her reign, should she be allowed to continue as Miss Universe? That's a very difficult uh, situation to be in. And um, I believe that the Miss Universe, if ever she becomes pregnant, I believe that she should continue with her reign if she has been a good example to be a Miss Universe. She has pursued all the all the goals that she had she had in the first place and I believe that she should continue. Thank you. Philippines. Philippines. Wow, I, I thought this girl had it. She clammed up. She really clammed up. Uh, it's a shame, really. Exactly. She definitely choked. Verified the final tally. Tonight, the first runner-up and winner of a cash scholarship from Oscar de la Renta Swimwear is Philippines. And I